Democrats on the Senate Judiciary Committee are demanding an investigation into Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas after ProPublica revealed that GOP mega donor and billionaire Harlan Crow took Thomas on six figure vacations and bought a property from him. I want the Supreme Court to persevere as an institution. I want it to be respected by people both on the left and the right. But when you see this kind of integration between the court and the political right, it's just cratering people's faith in the institution. Judiciary Democrats sent a letter to Chief Justice John Roberts, which stated, quote, we urge you to immediately open such an investigation and take all needed action to prevent further misconduct. They said if Roberts doesn't address it, they will with legislation. They also want ethics reform for justices who have lighter rules than other government employees. To restore the integrity and the reputation of the court, they have to do something. An investigation followed by a change in the approach on ethics. But Republicans expressed doubt that Thomas broke the law, and they wondered if there was something else behind this information being released. I think that what's happening now is the Democrats are trying to target Clarence Thomas. It is, again, part of a multi-decade effort to do so, and I'm opposed to anything that is really just an effort to go after him, to try and discredit him. Uh, I, I really think that's really inappropriate. Senator Tom Tillis also questioned whether the legislative branch of government should be trying to tell the judicial branch how to handle ethics. But the question is, is it consistent with the Article Three branches ethics and disclosure rules? And then whether or not there should be a reconsideration of that, that in my, in my mind should be something that that separate and uh, equal branch should take on, not the U.S. Senate. It sounds like there may be a little bit of politics in there. Chief Justice Roberts has not said whether he'll open an investigation, but Thomas did amend his financial disclosure to reflect the property sale and also said he follows all rules regarding hospitality, like the vacations. Straight from D.C., I'm Ray Bogan. Thanks for watching. In this time of media mistrust, Straight Arrow News is on a mission to bring you unbiased, fact-based reporting. It's the way news should be. Welcome to trustworthy journalism. Join us at straightarrownews.com.